Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I really wanted to talk about charge controllers. Mainly the reason I have multiple charge controllers. I have two 100 volt 30 amp and I have one 100 volt 50 amp charge controllers. And the reason I have, I actually, I actually have three reasons why I have multiple charge controllers. Uh, because I could have just had one. Uh, you know, I started out with one charge controller and I either had the option of getting another one and then having two or I could have sold my first one and just sold my smaller one and, and upgraded to a bigger charge controller. Uh, and then, you know, as time went on, I could have gotten sold my bigger charge controller and gotten a bigger charge controller. I know you could have upgraded your charge controller so you'd always have one. But I have three reasons why I chose not to do that. The first reason is I like to have redundancy. I am actually, uh, I work with computers a lot for my job and we have a lot of redundant systems. So if one of them fails, you always have something, uh, something else that you can kind of back up from or rely on in case one fails. So I like the option of having three charge controllers. So if one of them fails, uh, just due to a bad product or bad wiring or maybe a solar panel outside blows up, I still have two more charge controllers that I can charge my batteries with. So I feel like that's very important is to have some sort of redundancy. So it, especially if you're boondocking or if you live in an RV full time, uh, this is just my opinion, but I believe that you need to have redundant systems, uh, either it being solar charge controllers, multiple solar charge controllers. Um, I'm sure a lot of people that have RVs, you know, they also have generators, so they can they can work off of a generator. Um, but generators, you need gas, so uh, you know you could easily run out of gas. I mean, we're hopefully never going to run out of sunshine. Uh, so that's why. If in a, in a worst case scenario, you do not want your solar charge controller to go down without having a spare or some sort of redundant system. Because uh, I would rather run, I'd rather run with 60 to 70 percent rather than 100, rather than running with zero percent solar and then my batteries just are get, you know, they get wiped out in a couple days or whatever. So that's number one is redundancy. Number two is cost. Um, now I'm only referring to Victron. Victron, I you know, as you can tell, I love I love Victron. I feel like they are very reliable, uh, and also I feel they they've been around for a long time, so I feel like uh, the support is there if you need it. Some of these some of these solar charge controllers and these all-in-one systems, they've only been around for you know a couple of years, so. If you buy one and then five years later it breaks and you need to call support, you know, there's a possibility that support won't be there anymore because either they got bought out or they just failed as a company. So, uh, so I'm only speaking of the Victron, Victron products when I'm talking about price. And I'm also going to speak not in dollars because, you know, there's the, the US dollar, there's the Euro, there's all sorts of currency. So I'm going to talk in percentages, and we're going to say that this 130 is 100%. So if I were to buy a 100 volt 30 amp charge controller, I'd be spending 100%, okay? So I bought two of them. I have one here and one here. So let's just say that's 200%, and that gives me 200 volts of solar panels charging my batteries at 60 amps. That's what it gives me. Uh, but if I were to buy a Victron 150 volt 70 amp charger, that would be 260%. So let's just say, you know, if this were 100%, let's just say that's $100. This would be $100, this would be $100, or I could get one that's a 150 volt, so I would actually be getting less solar panels, 
Um, but it would be a 70 amp, so I could actually charge with more amperage into my battery. I would be spending $260. So I would actually be losing $60 or 60% of the cost of one of these. I know that's kind of confusing, but I don't want to go into currency because there's so much currency out there, different types of currency. So yeah, you can get you can get 100% of this, 100% of this for basically the same amount of power if you spent 260% on one charge controller. So number two for me is the price. Uh, third one is your solar panels. And uh, let me go outside and show you my solar panels just in case you don't follow my channel. Okay, these are my solar panels. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, as you can see, I have three separate strings and the reason I have that is because I have three separate sets of solar panels, all with different voltages and different sizes. Uh, I have one string that's a 250 watt uh, panel string that equals a thousand, a thousand watts. And then I have a second set that is 800 watts. And they are actually all wired in series. So that's a 4S configuration. These ones are a 2s 2p configuration so there are two sets connected in series and then those two series are connected in parallel and then i have a third string right here they are also 200 watt panels so that's another 800 uh, and these are also set in 2s 2p configuration but as you can see they point in different directions these ones over here point straight south and these point in a southeast direction so if I were to have all of these panels on one solar charge controller, uh, I would be losing probably a lot of wattage uh, from the whole array, just because they're all different volts, different string configurations, and different directions. So that right there is actually the third reason why I decided to go with multiple charge controllers. Uh, with all that being said, uh, I wanted to say thank you so much for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. If you like this video, please, uh, please hit that like button. And, um, and if you like my content and you want to follow me, please subscribe. It really helps out. Thank you so much, and you all have a great day. Bye-bye.